Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. In today's episode of Sarah Doesn't Want to Make Another Video About a Phone, we unbox weird tech, give Peachy HQ a facelift, I introduce you to my new office mate, and well, this. Minimalism is dead. Because I, I said so. No, really, look at the Google trend, it's crazy. It literally peaked in 2017 right off the heels of, hey, YouTube sensation Matt Diavella's Netflix documentary about minimalism, which is an amazing documentary, but it seems like the past few years, you know, it started with minimalism and then it kind of morphed into like van life and then tiny houses and all of these things that, you know, I felt like I wasn't a part of. I felt like I wasn't a part of the cool kids club because I never really fit perfectly into this minimalist box. I guess you can say I like stuff, but at the same time, I was attracted to minimalism because I've always struggled with organization and just those types of things. So, you know, I would give it a try and I would just fail miserably. Let's get rid of everything. Oh wait, I need, I actually need some of that stuff. I should have never gotten rid of it. And something happened this past summer. I started seeing tweets and TikToks and articles of a word that you really don't see often, and that is maximalism. And so I'm here to say, hey guys, for all of you maximalists out there, I think it's your time. I think it's our time. I'm here to say, well, I think it's okay to be a maximalist. I feel like both ends of the spectrum can get a little bit much. Minimalism came about in 2016, 2017 as this pushback against consumerism, right? The American way of just consuming all of the things. But like all things, I feel like it got kind of out of hand. Like I literally have a minimalist friend where honestly I felt like it almost became like a religion to them where it almost became as big of a problem as it was trying to solve. In the name of minimalism, they would just get rid of everything. They would go through their things and they would sell this and sell that. But then a couple months later they'd realize, oh wait, I actually kind of need that. And oh wait, I needed that camera. So they would buy it again. And then guess what? Oh, okay, I don't need this anymore. They would sell it and then they would buy it and they would sell it and they would buy it. And it would turn into a cycle that is worse than just buying that one thing once, holding on to it and then using it when you need it. So I think a lot of people understand the downsides of too much consumerism, but it's been interesting to see the downsides of like too much minimalism where it gets put up on this pedestal just for minimalism's sake. You don't actually think about how you live your life and the things that you need. Of course, I guess you've had Marie Kondo and things and like, does it spark joy? If it sparks joy, keep it, right? So we've had some kind of good middle of the road things, but yeah, what is maximum? or I guess let's coin the phrase responsible maximalism in this video. I, I bring it up a lot. Well, I started it in our home. When we moved out of the condo, I was like, something needs to change. I've always acquired a lot of stuff, but my biggest problem was organization. I never knew where my stuff was, so I would just buy another. Oh, I need a new headphone cable. Let me just Amazon it, right? Instead of actually knowing where it is like that, that is bad. But when we moved to our new place, we had more storage, we had more places to put things. And I was more intentional about, oh, being organized, knowing where things are. So I don't always have to hit that Amazon button, but hey, I need this. Oh, perfect. I know the spot and I just have everything I need plus a little bit more. I think that's what responsible maximalism is to me. And we're gonna exercise that at the office because I feel like I did my personal life, but now it's time to do the camera tech side of my life, which is gonna be more fun, but it's gonna be more heartbreaking because I'm actually going to let go of a lot of cameras, of a lot of tech, and maybe you guys can help me with that. So it's time. So it's been a year since I moved in here and a lot of stuff has accumulated. I've done the things that I've always said I wanted to do. Have a camera set up that lives in the studio. So even when I travel or I go out for shoots, I never have to mess with my main YouTube setup. So it's easy to come in here if I have an idea, sit down and shoot. I even went as far to set up a proper, you know, mic setup here. I've always been a lav girl, so to have dedicated audio here is actually amazing. So you're probably like, Sarah, hey, sounds good so far. What is the issue? Well, for starters, things like this. What is all this stuff? 
Okay, here's the other side. There's a lot of stuff everywhere. This is just too much for me. And it's time to not just clean up, but to get rid of things. Sarah, that sounds like a minimalist video. No, remember, I wanna bring a good name to maximalism. Okay, so what is good maximalism when it comes to tech? I think it's having everything that you need at your ready and maybe a little bit more, but not excessively. And this is something I need to fix in my life. Like I said before, I have an office setup of Sony cameras, FX6, two FX6s, overkill for YouTube, but hey, I do some interview stuff, occasionally some documentary stuff, so it's nice to just like have it and it's fun, okay? I don't need it, but it's fun. And then I have two FX3s for a more run and gun if I need to go interview someone and pack everything in a backpack. Great. And that's it. Well, I need that to be it. So here's the thing, I also have a full Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera set up for Blackmagic cameras. I don't even use them anymore, but they're such a big part of my past. I used them a ton. I felt like I got my start with those cameras that I'm very sentimental. And one, I just love testing out and trying gadgets. So I just keep them around just in case, but like it's too much. And now that I've been able to save up to have a good ecosystem of cameras that all look alike. Like one time guys, I used a Panasonic GH5 with a Blackmagic and a Sony a7S II for a three interview setup. It was so bad. Color grading that was a complete nightmare. So yeah, even though I'm kind of attached, like the black magics, they gotta go. I gotta sell them. So there's a lot of stuff like this around here that I want to identify. Do I absolutely need it? And if I don't, I'm selling it. I'm getting rid of it. And I just need to clean up this place and organize it where I know where everything is. I'm gonna make it just the optimal setup. day two and I'm starting to remember why I don't do this more often because it takes time when you have deadlines and you're just like living your normal life. I guess you don't have hours to set aside to clean things and organize things. And I will say something that has been annoying. I shoot on this side of my office all the time. Rarely use the other side, but I have all my storage and all my tech on the other side. So already having, uh, you know, my storage on this side, I'm like, oh, this is already an unlock to be more productive. Although I am realizing that this might be too small, so I might have to fit the bigger husky over here because a responsible maximalist wouldn't have two huskies, just one. Figure it out, Sarah. felt amazing. Again, this stuff is taking longer than I thought, but I consolidated two Husky tool chests into one. The idea of things that I need day to day are at my ready on this half of the office. And I'm learning again, I don't need three or four versions of something. Let's have my main go-to, a backup, and that's it. So we got the side that I'm not using. All that furniture I'm either gonna sell or the person who is moving in is gonna use because I am going to split this office now with someone else. So as you can tell, this side is bigger, but I'm still gonna use a little bit of storage, like two of these storage shelves. They're gonna use those two. So I'm still using a little bit of space, but for the most part, this will be their space. Got a little entryway, got a place to drop things and trash. That was another thing, little things that I fit, like this trash was all the way in the corner. If I ever had trash, I had to walk all the way over there. Why did I do that? This is all of the stuff that I need to sell. This is where my main computer setup is gonna be. I got all of my camera gear and this one Husky, which is crazy. Just look at that Aura Glow. 
that was like the coolest color. Batteries. And the great thing about this Husky is the drawers go all the way out. So even if things are back here, you can still reach it. Keyboards, podcast equipment, audio, cameras, lenses, and D filters, cable ties and tools, pens, beautiful. We got more cables. We got GoPro, action cam. We got SSDs and other little plates and adapters. Audio, and this is the main audio and some light accessories that I use, that I would use every day. All my other audio that I might need is somewhere else. And then power cables. Boom! Storage, easy access. Storage, if I need some tape, boom, I grab it. And then of course, the main set over here. Got the main camera, look in here. This is the angle you guys are familiar with. So the only thing I am thinking of is maybe I might put those lights on the wall so there's no C-stands, but for now, I'm happy. about. Now this is stuff that I kind of got for short form content. I kind of went on a kick of like, well, if everyone's making TikToks, I should make TikToks, but I hate making TikToks. Hence, oh, this, okay. Hence this segment of the video, unboxing silly tech. I know exactly where my pocket knife is now that I organized everything. And wow, I didn't even have to go across the office for it. I'm excited about an organized maximalist office. Okay, so this one's gonna be a little much. And especially for the people who uh, didn't watch the show Severance on Apple TV. It's such a good show, it's so art. It makes you think and it has really great twists and turns. So I was gonna make a whole video recreating the office setup of Severance, but it was so niche that I it was gonna cost like thousands of dollars and I had no idea if anyone was gonna watch it. So I actually, <laughs> started buying some stuff for the video, but then I never made it. Okay, this is gonna be so insane. Yeah, that's me. So this is like a crystal 3D version of me. And then this is an LED like display. It shoots light up. If you haven't seen Severance, you probably don't understand this, but they had this on their desk. Oh, this is so silly. Okay, here we go. You guys. Oh, this is insane. This is hilarious. This is so funny. This is a thing called center cam. And it's a webcam that centers itself. Uh, okay, so it includes a little cable. It centers itself in your computer screen. So you're essentially making eye contact with the other person on the side of the screen. Imagine if I was making a video, but I was just looking like this the entire time. And I was talking to you like this instead of this, right? Here, I'm looking straight into the lens. Here, I'm looking up. That's kind of how, you know, zooms are nowadays. So I get this idea. Let's see, let's see if it actually works. You guys need to see what it looks like on my side of things, wow. And the center cam is right in between, so I'm talking to them, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and you know, the only bummer is it seems like the center cam quality isn't the best. Y you know, it could be worse. So I feel like the need isn't like something that people desperately need enough to buy this, unfortunately, but honestly, A for effort. Okay, that was fun. Uh, well, hey, we did organization, but now it's time to get rid of things. I've actually organized everything I wanna sell over here. I've actually been using the same lenses for four or five years, maybe even longer. So uh, the, the amount of work that the Sony lens department has been doing is substantial and I really wanna do an upgrade, but not until I get rid 
of some of this stuff. And hey, that is where our sponsor comes in handy. Hey, Squarespace, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Listen, you probably already know by now, but Squarespace is the all-in-one place to build your online portfolio, build a brand, but also sell things online, whether it's physical goods or digital goods, like a course or building a paywalled community with memberships. But today, I'm actually gonna use it to create my own shop very quickly for all of this tech that I wanna sell. So we basically have a uh, Sony a6600, a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, 6K Pro, a 6K, two 4Ks. I gotta decide, I think I'm gonna at least keep one 4K. I'm gonna keep one of them. You can check out saradici.com, my beautiful Squarespace website, if you wanna see what I actually put on sale, some accessories, and then also this big boy M1 Max MacBook Pro in the 16 inch. So I'm also selling that, but hey, I'm gonna go to Squarespace, make a new page, list all of these products for sale, and you can actually go there and let me know if you want to buy them. I'm going to start it off as only local pickup first, where if you wanna buy this, you can schedule a time and pick it up on Saturday. Squarespace has so many amazing templates that you can choose from. When you have an idea, you just want to do it, right? If you're an amazing photographer and you just wanna focus on taking pictures, editing pictures, you don't wanna have to worry about fighting with a website and it taking a long time to get it right. Squarespace just makes it so easy and so turnkey to not just get it started, but to keep it updated. Squarespace also takes care of SEO, search engine optimization. That means when someone Googles you, they will find your website. And hey, what about email marketing? Last time I talked about, hey, would it be fun if I had a newsletter? Subscribe to my non-existent newsletter. And a lot of you guys actually signed up for it and had good ideas in the comments down below. So my brain is, there's there's some things brewing, some ideas. Well, hey, I don't want to uh, promote too many things. Okay, email newsletter and also selling some cameras. Check that out. But more importantly, if you want to get started on your idea, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And well, if you want to get started today, go to squarespace.com slash Saradici. That's me for 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. I am right now vlogging with a 24 mil lens and it's uh, it's hurting my arm. So check, check out my link down in the description below. And I think it might be time to expose who the new roommate is. Okay, everyone, it's probably not too much of a shock, but meet the new office roommate. I don't even, what do I call it, roommate? I don't know. But it's- Fiance. It's the fiance Jonathan. Well, hey, by the, by the time that they see this, you might be my husband. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, I'm moving in because, uh, yeah, I need a lot of space. And I was like, oh my gosh, where can I find a place in Fort Worth? And fiance was like, I don't use half my office. And I'm like, take me there. So now I'm there. So, so now you're there. Do you want to tell them what you just bought to put over there? Oh, yeah, this is actually really exciting. So I bought this insane printer that prints white. Yeah, I, honestly, I probably spent like $8,000 on printing equipment, printing t-shirts and stuff. So now Sarah and I will have a fully operational t-shirt business within our vicinity to sell all of our merchandise. So prepare for Ooh. links in description. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try to do some of it like on our own. So you'll see, you'll see our blood, sweat, and tears in the material, hopefully not. Also, you know what you can use? Squarespace to sell your merchandise. Link in the description below. Oh, uh, hey, editing Sarah here. I didn't outro this video, and I didn't even do my proper intro either. So if you're new around here, hi, my name is Sarah Dici, Rhymes with Peachy. You should stick around for new videos. Let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. And yeah, we kind of hinted that we're about to get married. Not yet, but it's right around the corner. So stick around if you perhaps want to see a video about that. Okay, until next time, stay peachy. Okay, bye.